shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you were interested in picking up a channel membership for as little as $1.99 a month, head over to my channel profile and hit the join button to view all of the available perks. Thanks. Hey there everyone and welcome back to an all new video. This video is going to be a little different compared to usual as we are not really going to be diving into a specific plot points from Crystallized. Instead, things are going to be getting a little more personal, you could say, while still connected to Crystallized, if that makes any kind of sense to you. With this being said though, I think today's video is going to be a lot more fun than usual and is going to be more interesting than your average upload here on the channel. So, you know what, let's just dive straight into it. Christophern was, of course, a major plot point for Crystallized, and Garmadon's character overall in the Crystallized, his entire arc was basically resting on this one plant named Christophern that was in the season. And overall, right, it was just very awesome to see. Um, this is a little bit off topic compared to what we're about to be getting into, but Christophern was genuinely one of my favorite plot points of Crystallized, and it really did help to push Garmadon's character forward, and Garmadon was, one of, was by far one of my favorite aspects of Crystallized again, so you can definitely see why I may love Christopher and this whole plant plot point going on in Crystallized. I think it was awesome and Garmadon's entire arc alongside the literal existence of Christopher was just very awesome if you ask me. Well this is where things get interesting as well here's a fun fact about me I've never really mentioned before. I really do like plants quite a bit actually and over the course of the last year I've cared for carnivorous plants and uh, some images will be going up on the screen now, uh, one of which is explaining what a carnivorous plant actually is from Google, and the rest is a few of my plants that I actually own. You may probably be thinking right now, this is just so random, what does it have to do with today's video? Well, we're going to be getting onto that in just a moment. Well, to honor Christopher, not long ago, I asked Ninjago Twitter what to name these specific plants that you're seeing some images from up on screen now. And the results actually came in, and there were quite a few of them, and it was fairly hard to decide which plants I should actually name what, but I've come up with some names for them. So the Venus flytrap you're seeing now is going to be called Christopher, straight up, just the exact same name as the plant we saw in Ninjago. I mean, why not? It's probably my favorite plant I currently own. It's grown a lot over the past year, and it just reminds me of Christopher in the show overall, and to completely honor this plant that I love so much in the season, I decided to just, you know what, name this plant Christopher because it matches up perfectly in my opinion. The next one here is going to be called Red. Um, I don't know, it's very, uh, it's, it's a very basic name, but at the same time I think it fits quite nicely with the whole theme of this plant and whatnot. And also Red from season 11, of course, that was Lloyd's nickname for Akita the Fox in the season. So it does fit in very nicely. So uh, yeah, this one's Red. And then lastly, this one here, guess what his name is? Yeah, you guessed it. Probably wrong, actually. His name is Mike. Just straight up Mike. Um, I think this is a really funny name. It's just one of those kind of joke names that I got suggested. But <laughs> honestly, I think it kind of fits. And these are the plant names. And I actually can't believe Ninjago Crystallized managed to influence me to do something like this. I've had these plants for ages and I've never even thought of giving them a name. But Crystallized has completely inspired me to name them properly. And I think this is actually an awesome thing to do. I recommend that if you guys have any plants, naming them Christopher in complete honor of the season and if you do actually do that be sure to let me know in the comments i would seriously love to hear more about that in the comments but lastly i have something else i'd like to talk about in this very strange video here today and that is i actually have one more plant it's another venus flytrap that i got early this year i do believe and I actually never put this one on Twitter, which is because I was saving it for this specific video today. So this is the plant up on screen now. And basically, I need name suggestions for this plant. So if you have any other name suggestions for this particular plant, please drop them down below in the comments. I would seriously love to hear your thoughts on this and just give me some feedback on what I could name it. Whoever is the winner, I will obviously reply to your comment and uh, announce to you guys. Your plant name suggestion actually won, and this plant is now named the hat. Just an awesome thing I wanted to do in today's video, and I wanted to kind of announce it at the end here. For all though, I, this is basically going to do it for this one. I just wanted to kind of explain uh, some a little bit of an insight into my life, um, my plants or whatnot, and how Crystallized has literally influenced me to name my current plants that I own. I think it's kind of awesome, and I can't believe Crystallized made me do this. But with all of this being said, be sure to drop your thoughts down below on this in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to watch my new content whenever I do post it. With this being said, I'll see you all soon for my next one. Goodbye.